I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on indeterminate powers which is going to be solved using L'Hopital's rule. The question here is find limit as x approaches 1 for 2 minus x to the power of tan pi by 2 times x. Now here we have some exponent so that means we are looking for indeterminate powers. Now let us first check whether it is indeterminate power or not. So if I substitute 1 here, I get 2 minus 1 and on the top as an exponent, we get tan pi by 2, right? Now as you know, 2 minus 1 is 1 and tan pi by 2 is infinity. So we have 1 over infinity, which is the indeterminate power. Okay, so we can apply the L'Hopital's rule. So we'll apply this rule now. So we can write this. Uh, but you know you cannot directly apply the rule so what we will do here is that to apply this rule we need to write this as an exponential function or a logarithmic function so we prefer to write this as natural log the steps involved are redefine the function we say let y equals to uh, 2 minus x to the power of tan pi by 2x okay so so we redefine the function take natural log on both sides so we get ln y equals to so when you take natural log you get this as tan uh, pi by 2x ln 2 minus x okay now we'll take limit on both the sides so we say limit x approaches 1 for ln y equals to limit x approaches 1. Now, whenever you're applying the L'Hopital's rule, you should have the form of uh, the quotient that is fx over g of x, right? That is important. Now, you can do it easily here. Tan could be written as ratio of sine and cosine. So, we'll write this as sine pi by 2x over cosine pi by 2x right and we already have this ln 2 minus x in the numerator so now we have this fx over gx form the quotient form now before applying the rule we should check do we have indeterminate form that is to say if i substitute one here for x what do i get if i substitute one here 2 minus 1 is 1, ln 1 is 0, right? 1 here, sine pi by 2 is also 0, so we get 0 in the numerator for sure. And if I write 1 here, cos pi by 2, I mean, sorry for that, sine pi by 2 is 1, so 1 times 0, so it is 1 times 0 in the numerator, sine pi by 2 is 1. Uh, okay, let's rewrite. So we have sine pi by 2 times ln 2 minus 1 which is 1 divided by cos pi by 2. So we have just substituted x equals to 1 in this equation. So the numerator is 0, I mean 1 times 0, 0 is for ln 1, 1 times 0 over 0 or 0 over 0, right? So we can apply the rule, that's what the idea is. So let's apply the L'Hopital's rule here, right? So when you apply the rule, we may, normally I say I don't write, but it's good to write. Okay, so we'll take the derivative of both numerator and denominator. So we have limit x approaches 1. Now this is a product rule, right? So the derivative for sine pi by 2x times ln 2 minus x will be derivative of the first function, which is cos pi by 2x times derivative of inside which is pi by 2 times ln 2 minus x right this is one part plus derivative of this function which is times sine pi by 2 right sine pi by 2x derivative of this is 1 over 2 minus x and derivative of minus x is 
minus 1. So this is what you get in the numerator. Slightly more complicated. Okay. Now, derivative of cos pi by 2x is sine pi by 2x with a negative sign. Okay. Times pi by 2. So that is the derivative which you get. Now at this stage, we are trying to find the limit of all this when x approaches 1. If I substitute 1 here, what do I get? So I get, if I substitute 1 here, 2 minus 1 is 1. So ln 1 is 0, right? So this part becomes 0 cos of pi by 2, cos of pi by 2 is also 0, so this part is 0, so we have 0, and here we have minus, okay, sine pi by 2, sine pi by 2 is 1, right, so this is 1, and 2 minus 1 is also 1, so this part we get minus 1, divided by, now here we have sine pi by 2, which is 1 and we have negative sign here pi by 2 so we have negative pi by 2 right so that gives you negative negative cancels and you get 2 over pi and this is limit x approaches 1 for ln y right so limit for ln y is 2 by pi correct so that really means that what is the limit for y is just this function. So we have limit for y as x approaches 1 as e to the power of 2 by pi, right? 2 by pi. So that is how. And what is y? y is this function. So we can write this answer as e to the power of 2 by pi, right? That is how we can actually solve it. Now, for the help of some students, how do we get this step? Uh, let me clarify it. Normally, you can write y as equals to, in exponential form, e to the power of ln y, correct? These are inverse of one another, so y could be written like this. So when you are trying to find the limits, that is to say, when you say limit of y, we can say limit of e to the power of ln y. So limit could be anything. In this case, it is x approaches 1, okay of y. Now this limit is e to the power of limit x approaches 1 for ln y. And we already found this limit of y as x approaches 1 is e to the power of, I'm sorry, this is this step. Okay. So limit of ln y as x approaches 1 is 2 over pi. So we'll replace this with e to the power of 2 over pi. Right? So that is how I get this answer. Do you see that? e to the power of 2 over pi. Now this is a very general statement and it applies for all the examples where I'm doing this indeterminate power. So I may not explain it always, right? Uh, but that is how. Sometimes we just write from here this step. Okay, so Limit of ln y is something, then limit of y is e to the power of that thing. So remember that part. So that is how we get it. I hope that helps. I am Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.